What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jason, and thank you for tuning in for another car interview video here in Dubai. So it's a special. I got my buddy right here, Alex. Thanks for coming through. No worries, man. It's a pleasure. It genuinely is a pleasure seeing all other NSX owners. It's yeah. gonna be awesome. So, should we do a tour? Yeah. Yeah. Hold so, on. Uh, so you got a what? 1991. Uh, essentially kind of stock, but we'll take you through the mods. 91 a NSX. manual five-speed. So is this an Acura or is it the Honda? This it's... is a Canadian spec NSX, which I happened to find in Abu Dhabi. I was going to buy one in Florida, uh, exactly the same red NA1, um, same year as well. And that same day, I was at uh, the Autodrome and a friend of mine um, told me there's a guy who has an NSX. I test drove his NSX before. It had done uh, 250,000 miles. So I was like, uh, I want to buy my perfect car. I didn't say I didn't buy it. Then I met him and he said, there's a really nice red one in Abu Dhabi. I said, I drop work. I'm working. I'm like, fuck it. We're going now. <laughs> so I call up my friend. I call him. Yeah. I call yeah. them up. I call the guy with the car and I'm like, okay, where are you? I'm home. So no, where are you going to be tomorrow? <laughs> because we're going to go look at this car. So I literally grabbed my friend, grabbed my dad and we went to Abu Dhabi. Did a PPI, six hour inspection, the compression test, everything came out clean. I went bang, cash. Because it's been six years nice. of planning and you know, searching for an NSX. Because yeah. it was NSX or nothing, if I'm being frank. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. So Thank you owned it for uh, just about two years now, I think. Yeah. Awesome. But again, I, I've sweet. been I've, I have a history with NSXs and not buying other ones. So <laughs> this one felt right because it had to be red and black. Oh definitely. Yeah. Hey man, I got a red and NSX as well. Yeah, so yeah. I'm all for it, bro. I really so love do it. Do you want to do front to back? Oh yeah, can yeah, you, yeah. Uh, you so know walk me through what you got? From the front, front lip. So okay. again, like I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest power person. I wanted a car that I can use because again, I'm not Michael Schumacher. I'm not getting, uh, I'm not, I am not don't have the ability to drive. So I wanted a car that fits around me. Mm -hmm. So I've done stuff to make it feel more, right? Oh, definitely. And part of that as well was the way it looks because when you want to get to the car, you want to make you feel like I'm I want to enjoy it. driving it, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm all for so, making it look raced out, man. <laughs> yes, yes. So we have yep. a front lip. Yep. Um, we have the Honda badge conversion because no one ever dreamed about driving an Acura. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's the correct red, but it's red enough. Um, what else do we have? We've got the uh, Hill Advance skirts. as well. Well, yes. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Marga Hill side skirts. We've got the Advance as well, the lightweight. We have the NTO5 stickies as well. Nice. Very happy with the semi slicks. We have a Koya Rad, um, what's it called? Um, radiator. radiator. Yep. Yeah, because again, in Dubai, uh, it gets to 50. So 50 degrees, you do a lot of- plus degrees over here. In, exactly, uh, in what, like 130 or something crazy? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so yeah, crazy. Yeah. So you need to do maintenance stuff. So it's got yep. that coil around. Yep. Exactly. Um, I'm thinking of swapping from water to Evans as well, which is the secret okay. here. So it's, an, it's a non-water coolant. Okay. So it, it reacts better to the heat. So there's a tip like this. I've got braided lines for the brakes as well, which actually I found out after I went and had the brakes fail on me, which is a whole experience. It's too hot out here. That's probably yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's um, brake master cylinder as well for maintenance. We have inside. Uh, I swapped out the gear shift. It is a Skunk 2, which I'm thinking of swapping out again. Okay. We have the Momo steering wheel because no one likes the pillow, um, which has, uh, don't judge the NRG, <laughs> flip up. Yep. Nice. Uh, this like is that. my lightweight mod. When I got the car registered, that trim piece, the guy who was registering it, ripped it off. So that's in the <laughs> oh, boot. <laughs> we call it lightweight. Oh, one second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah, you sorry. Pride, so, right? Yeah, pride. exactly. Pride so the car right normally there. comes with that crazy pillowy leather yep. stuff. Oh, cool. um, I had this on the car. I'm very happy with this. Like Inside it. as well, you've got that. Um, oh, the center console. Yeah, center yep. console with the weirdest uh, like screen. It came mm -hmm. with the car. It's oh, enjoying. Yeah. So if anyone knows what an enjoying is, then like in the comments, I guess, because mm -hmm. I don't, but it's, okay. it works. Um, you have the Type R uh, front sway bar, okay. Type R chassis bracing, yep. Type S rear sway bar, which is the four Super rare. Say. Super rare. Yeah, nice. exactly. Um, you've also got in the back more carbon fiber and you've got, oh, oh that's pretty cool. This carbon fiber as well, which Actually, I love. Because I don't like, a person. yeah, yeah. Under here, you just kind of stock, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, just normal maintenance stuff. Like, for example, the other mods are just stuff you want to do. Um, I've, I've, I've dropped the engine. I've done the cam. Uh, no, what's it called? The timing belt. Timing belt. Because I wasn't pump. sure when it'd been done. Yeah. So water pump timing belt. Might as well do the maintenance. Exactly. Diet. That thing's going because that thing's a piece of oh, S. Alternator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's at the moment the reason that the car lives on life support. It lives <laughs> on my parents' house. Plus, then, like a phone, it gets recharged. Yeah. 
carbon fiber wheelchair. Carbon fiber as yeah. well. You got the, uh, uh, the tent because it's so hot over here. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, the first thing I want to do when I've got a bit more money, get rid of the tents. Oh, you, yeah. can, you can do a UV tent, because mm -hmm. if you look, you can't see out the back. Oh yeah, it's so hard. Especially yeah, so it's not yeah. good. So one thing the car came with as well, if you see, it's got a little camera. Oh, that's which crazy. thankfully decided to pack up, so that don't work. <laughs> um, what else do we have? We have... Uh, APR spoiler. Yes, APR spoiler. And for power or performance, I guess, you have a lightweight flywheel, which I found out when I got an entire clutch, which uh, I dropped the, you know, the gearbox, got everything out. Mm -hmm. They looked at the garage, they're like, that's, that's a lightweight flywheel. And I'm sitting here with a clutch that costs a few thousand dirhams going, well, shit. <laughs> so um, it you know has what, a lightweight uh, flywheel, yeah, which you, is cool. Do you remember what, uh, what clutch you have? Uh, no, cl uh, I can't remember what clutch. Oh, I will get back to you. I can't oh, remember. Um, you again, want to take like, a guess at uh, what clutch he has? No, because yeah. I'm going to get it wrong. Do you want to guess? Because you might know better yeah, as well. guess it on, and put it on the comments. There That'll we go. Sweet. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, again, like for performance, it's... Um, that's not bad. Uh, for performance, it's catless. It's a straight pipe. The okay. cool thing about that is, and I guess I'm talking to the NSX group as well, the more I researched, the more I realized that the 276 thing mm -hmm. was mandatory, obviously. And the way yeah. to get to 276 was uh, with the heavy cast iron cats. Yep. So the moment you remove the cats, you get rid of the weight. Uh, plus 20 horsepower. Actually. Exactly, yeah. right? So it's loud. It yeah. sounds really cool. And nice. at the back, we have that frame. Yep. We have the Honda badge as well. Honda and badge. eventually, I'm doing a diffuser because if you've got that kind of aggressive wing, you need to have like the matching diffuser, right? For sure. Nice, and nice. Uh, yeah, like like I said, I, I was thinking of getting different things. There's thirty twos here, there's stuff, but there is nothing quite like. I think they're rolling out. Nothing quite like an NSX. So um, yeah, I'm a happy owner of my NSX. I'm never going to sell it. A hundred percent. Oh, uh, nice. right no, on. never, never, never. This has been my dream car since I was a kid, and uh, I'm only ever going to. Uh, no, yeah, no whistles in this thing. Um, I'm only ever going to fix it. I want this to be perfect. I got a question. Yeah. So being here in Dubai, uh, everybody loves supercars. Mm. What, what kind of reactions do you get driving this kind of car? Yeah, uh, nice Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was actually thinking because I needed to get a T-shirt uh, just to wear here. And I wore this one because this is a record label out of Belgium called r and mm -hmm. So it looks like the Ferrari logo because yeah. everyone thinks this is also a Ferrari. Oh, so yeah? Everyone says nice Ferrari, nice Ferrari. Yep. But um, actually, I'll tell you a funny story. There was a silver NSX here that had the Ferrari badge conversion. So we had it on oh, the wheels. Yeah, because <laughs> the thing is, at one point, I think you'd know as well, these things weren't as popular as they are now. Right? Yeah. So people wanted to have a Ferrari, they wouldn't have an NSX. So quite a few had those uh, conversions done. And I think, again, like this, I don't know the history, it's done 218,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So it's got kilometers. I don't know if those are stopped because I've seen cars with or without the headrest, the NSX thing. But um, it's about, when you buy someone else's project, it's about, un, it's about finding out what's done with it, starting fresh, unscrewing it, and building your own car on top, right? Yeah, so definitely. that's kind of uh, what I want to do. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, what are future, future plans for your car? Yeah, future plans. Let's be honest, everyone wants a wide body, and I'd like one too. <laughs> However, uh, so the plan is, I want um, the different front lip. I want that aggressive uh, diffuser. Mm -hmm. From a uh, driving perspective, I really want, um, I want it to be reliable because the one thing that I like I said I need an alternator yeah because it's plugged in it's on a trickle charger constantly yep. um, yeah oh. I just want it to work man so, yeah sounds that's good. it um, going back we actually didn't talk about the suspension I think you said yes yeah, sorry I completely forgot yeah. there's so much so it's got it, different it pads as well it's yeah. got teens and okay. it has I can show you in the boot as well yeah just ignore the uh, jump cables they're not there by accident I'll open this up oh god Hold on. Yeah. Ta da! Stance works. Yep. So it's low already. Oh, this is that yeah, trim piece okay. I told yeah. you about as well. <laughs> yeah, so it's low already. So it has uh, cups all around. Yeah. Oh, nice. So it doesn't Perfect. have the front because it still rubs the back. So I was like, you know what? I'm going full off road mode. Yep. Full off road mode, all four nice. corners up and down. Really happy. There's a button in there. So yeah, I think again, like the tints need to go. It's it's like it's like buying any project car. People yeah. have their vision. I had mine, and I want to you know put mine on. That One thing I want to do eventually, if I'm brave enough, I want to give it an a Advan wrap. Oh yeah. I have. I'll I'll, sh I'll send it to you later. I have a Red picture. And black. Red and I black. Have, yeah, I have yeah. the model. I've got the 143. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Exactly the right. Car. So yeah. I have that model as JGTC. well. Yes, yeah. the JGTC. Um, I think 90. 
two or one. I'm not going to give people no. <laughs> yeah. Um, but one of those early JGTC cars. Good stuff. Nice. Yeah. And I want to make it look like, and one of my favorite mods as well, most important thing, because when you're living in the UAE, mm -hmm. you know, it gets hot. So I've got my uh, driving uh, gloves. This is the thing that my friends always make fun of me, because I've got matching driving gloves. I've got these <laughs> in this car, because this is K1 Planning's KG yep. Suchia. Yeah. And KG Suchia actually drove an NSX at Le Mans. Yep. He drove the, the old one too. GT2. Yeah. Yeah. He drove the GT2, the, um, was it? GT3 or GT2, it was the NA, and I think he didn't drive the turbo, so he drove at Le Mans. So nice. this is um, a little harking back to that. And I've got matching green ones for my 86. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I just noticed, do you have like side view mirrors here? Or cameras? If they do, they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so like, again, like the, the, the rear view camera decided to pack up. Uh, life gets in the way. I want to go take it to a shop, get it fixed, get that rear view uh, camera working again. But it's about enjoying the car. I want to get yeah. it out and use yeah. it as much as possible. It's pretty awesome because you're pretty rare here in Dubai. Yeah. So it's awesome to see. But hey, man, I really appreciate you showing it's us the really car. It's really nice to meet you too, man. Yeah, yeah, super nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, we'll keep in touch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Put it here. See you next time. There you go, man. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you very much. See you guys. Alrighty.